Yo, what's up, YouTube? It's Gary with another Fan TV. Back at you another video. Hey, man, y'all like the contents of my video? Uh, go ahead, that like button. If you like the content of this channel overall, go ahead, that subscribe. Uh, before we get to the video, I just want to say shout out to my boy Nevin. Him and his fiance got married uh, this past weekend, bruh. I couldn't make it, unfortunately, but I got the Hall of Star weekend shirt here that, that, that they gave everybody, you know, before the wedding. You know, unfortunately, I couldn't make it in person, but got the shirt on, bro. Just wanted to show you love and support. And wish y'all many, many blessings in y'all marriage, okay? Um, so this video we're getting to Tyler Wallace, and here's the video. All right, so look, uh, Tylen Wallace, right? Um, talented receiver, didn't see much from him last year, but he could be the guy that fills the question of who is the Ravens' number two wide receiver? Because Tylen Wallace is a guy who has all the tools to fill that role, right? Obviously, he was a fourth round pick last year. Didn't see much of him except for on special teams. But this is a guy where, um, in college, at Oklahoma State, okay? First team All-America 2018. Second team All-America 2020. Uh, Two-time first team All-Big 12 2018-2020. The Lipnikoff finalist, which is for the best wide receiver in, co in all of college football, okay? In 2018, I think he was the semifinals for the same award in 2020. So, he was a decorated receiver at Oklahoma State. Now, question is, why did he fall to the fourth round? Now, I believe he had a couple ACL injuries. I know he had one for sure that he tore his ACL in 2019, which obviously hurt his draft stock, and he came back 2020. Still had a good year, but I think teams are still may, might have been a little worried about that, right? So, I've seen multiple draft pro projections for Tyler Wallace, some in the second round, some in the third, and then some in the fourth round where he was actually drafted. So, he was a guy that was thought of highly by scouts, but I think a lot of the stuff had to do with his injury, and he might not have been like the top end speed guy that you know teams might want. But what does Tylen Wallace have? Okay, so the reason I'm bringing him up is because uh, T. Martin, uh, Ravens wide receiver coach, uh, praised Tylen Wallace, and these are some of the qualities that he pointed out in Tylen Wallace's game. Okay, great hands, good route runner, physical and tough. Now, these are all attributes you want in your wide receiver. Forget if it's number one, number two, number three. You want this in your wide receiver, period. So, um, it, seeing the videos of Tylen Wallace, he's, he really is a sharp, sharp route runner. You can see it in practice, so you know he can get separation on the guys, okay? Uh, great hands. He's another guy. Not not the tall, so like how him and James Prochet, right? Both around that 5'11", six-foot close kind of mark. Not the biggest guys in the world, but they're both guys who can win the jump ball. And we know that um, if you have guys who can win the jump ball, it makes the quarterback's job easier. And Tylen Wallace is a guy that can help make Lamar Jackson's job easier at the end of the day. Now, when the Ravens, your typical number two wide receiver and on, on other NFL teams, you might look for that guy to have 800 to 1,000 yards. But on the Ravens, if the number two wide receiver, they can find a guy who can give them, I don't know, Anywhere between four to six hundred yards, that's a good number two receiver because we expect a lot of targets to go to Andrews. Him have his thousand yards plus. Bateman, hopefully, he he could be a number one guy. Him him have his thousand yards plus. You'll get you get other tight ends involved. You get other running backs involved. So how much work does that leave for the number two wide receiver in this offense? Right, is not much, but if a guy can come in and fill that role and get. That four to six hundred yards, couple touchdowns here and there, that'd be extremely valuable. Now for the Ravens receiving core, uh, the four guys we obviously know about: Bateman, Duvernay, uh, Prochet, and Tylen Wallace. I feel like Tylen Wallace almost kind of gets forgotten uh, when we talk about these guys, and James Prochet just kind of gets um, automatically penciled into that number two wide receiver role. Now, while I think James Prochet can play that role, excuse me. Um, Tyler Wallace is going to give him a run for his money. The Ravens do believe in rotations pretty much at every spot on the field, except for obviously quarterback. And uh, Mark Andrews is going to play most of the snaps and tight ends. So, but you know, so these guys are going to get a chance to play multiple different spots. But I think Tyler Wallace is a guy who gives the Ravens inside outside versatility and also gives the Ravens a guy that's that's tough, physical in the run game as well. Because you know, if you're going to be a wide receiver in this Ravens offense. You have to show a willingness to block. If you can't, you're not going to go on the field. And I think, honestly, him playing special teams and being a gunner, 
it, it kind of showed him that I don't want this. Is not where I want to be for my for my whole career, right? So he put he put in a good effort at Gunner. He made some mistakes. He also made some plays, all right. But I think it showed the fact that he know he knows that he wants to go in for the wide receiver. I believe last year he only had about two catches for twenty yards, but he's more than capable of making plays. Now we can only go off projections. We can only go off what he did in college. But when I see him at Oklahoma State, and when he's a sophomore. You know, we're talking about 19, 20 years old. He's going for uh, over 1,200 yards, I believe, 12 touchdowns. Like I said, being a Blitnikoff finalist. He's a guy that if he doesn't get hurt, he's probably a solid late first, second round draft pick if he does not get hurt. So the Ravens have potential on this team at the receiver position. Now it's all about giving these guys the opportunity and the chance to showcase this potential. And I think Tyler Wise can really take advantage of this role. Now, he might not be a quote-unquote burner, but I like his in and out of the break quickness. If you see these videos of him at practice or anything like that, you will see the way he breaks down on routes and really sells the route um, better than a lot of receivers, I think, on the team. So you see, just from watching practice videos, I know it's just practice, so I'm not going to hype it up too much, but you see the, um, the in and out breaks, how he gets down low and really – sells the route now he's been making some plays at practice as well now i remember that um one of the many camps he had like a double move on brandon stevens got got up top made the play so he's making plays out there too so it's not just all um you know hearsay or you know it's reporters actually reporting that he's doing good at camp so tyler Wallace is somebody where we know we drafted bateman last year but I think we, I think we forget we drafted Tyler Wallace as well. All right, he was supposed to come in and help this wide receiver room. Um, he's a fourth round pick, you know, higher pick than you know than even Prochet was, you know, who's a sixth round pick. So Tyler Wallace, I think, has a role to play. I think all these young receivers have a role to play. But Tyler Wallace has all the tools to be the, the Ravens' number two wide receiver, and I would love to see him get that opportunity. All right, man, it's, it's Gabriel. Just another fan TV. I'm out.